like uh, Planet Hollywood had a truck and it ran into an 80s arcade truck and it just blew up all over the place. Welcome to the Vortex Arcade, where people go to relive their memories and create new ones. I had a customer come in and give me a big hug. She, are you a hugger? And I said, yeah, yeah, that's fine. She gives me a big hug. Thank you for giving me my childhood back. Over the last year, arcade owner Daniel Solis said business has been great as more parents are teaching their kids classics. And many kids are finding out some of the old games are more challenging than the newer ones with top-notch graphics and technology. Up, down, left, and right, and jump. That's really simple. Easy to, easy to comprehend, easy to grasp, difficult or impossible to master. Sega! I know my falsetto is kind of bad, but hearing that you go, Oh, that gives me chills down my spine. Co-owner Andrew Garrett has noticed more of his millennial friends wanting the arcade experience. There's something special about you versus the screen versus the computer. Oh, and by the way, your buddy's trying to beat your score too. A little bit of everything. He said the nostalgia factor is powerful for everyone, whether you personally grew up playing the games or are just curious as to what it feels like. Every generation, something comes out that tries to remind you of a time that was better. A lot of markets are playing on that, but again, it means something different to everybody. It's, what does it mean to you? Does it mean going back in time? Does it mean just relaxing and having a good time? It's, it's a little different for everybody. Garrett was right on the money, as national gaming retailers like GameStop are also seeing a huge increase in retro gaming's popularity. These are some really popular kind of retro gaming systems that are making a comeback. Absolutely. Uh, this is the Super Nintendo Classic and the regular Nintendo Classic. And so you're noticing a lot of younger people even being interested in these? Absolutely, yeah. yeah during the holidays, we saw uh, tons of kids come in looking to pick these up, uh, asking, asking for them in particular. Store leader Michael Montgomery said people young and old are coming in looking for the classics and high definition classic remakes. Almost every year, like half the stuff that comes out is just H2 remakes uh, that really, you know, satisfy people's urge and curiosity for, you know, how these great games they played will look nowadays. As the curiosity grows for these old school games, sales are growing with it. And Montgomery said there's already a lot of talk at what the gaming companies will bring back next. <laughs> Big talks about Nintendo wanting to do something with the Nintendo 64 Classic. There, there's talks about the GameCube Classic, too. 